Star Wars is easily one of the most beloved franchises when it comes to the sci-fi world. So whenever a Star Wars video game comes out, tons of people are rightfully excited. However, throughout the years, these games have been a mixed bag. However, two games that were pretty much universally loved back in the day were the original Battlefront and Battlefront 2 that were developed by Pandemic Studios and released back in 2004 and 2005 respectively. Unfortunately, despite the fan favor for these games, there never ended up being a third game in the series. So because of this when EA got the rights to produce Star Wars games and announced that none other than the developer DICE was going to be working on a reboot, hype was through the roof. Players were wondering would they be able to release another all-time classic and live up to the hype of the original title. Well, on November 17th of 2015, we got to see if DICE's rendition was going to live up to the hype, and unfortunately, you can argue that it did not. While the game sold pretty solid, selling more than 14 million copies worldwide, the game received pretty mixed reviews. Many fans and critics loved the gameplay, the visuals, the sound design, and just the general quality feeling of the game as it really felt like a polished product. However, they criticized the lack of both single player and multiplayer modes at launch and the use of a season pass model, which made some of the cool DLC modes pretty hard to play in later years. Also, if you didn't want to shell out extra after buying the game, you wouldn't be able to experience some of those cool DLC modes that came out after launch. It is important to note though that the success of Battlefront 2015 did lead to the sequel which released two years later, which had a whole slew of its own stumbles, which we'll save for another video. The game, similar to the originals, features the ability to switch between third and first person seamlessly, except when controlling one of the hero characters or their personal guards. While Battlefront 2015 does feature missions you can play, either by yourself or with another player, it does lack a proper campaign, which was definitely something that bummed fans out at the time. Though the game was criticized for a lack of game modes at launch, today it does have a variety of different modes, some of which we're going to hop into later in this video, ranging from grand 40 player modes based around vehicles to the smaller scale 12 player lobbies to heroes versus villains, which all give you a good variety of gameplay for you to enjoy if you can find matches in those playlists, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So today let's check out and answer the question, can you still play Battlefront 2015? Before we get into the video though, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Z League. Z League is a really cool tournament platform where you can hop on and basically play tournaments on your own time. They have tournaments running throughout the day, both free tournaments that you can enter and pay to enter tournaments. And these are really cool because unlike other tournaments that maybe you've played in games, where if you're not the best, you know it's impossible to win, Z League actually has an entire division structure. So based on how you perform in previous tournaments, it'll place you into different divisions for all the tournaments you're signing up for, therefore giving you a more fair chance at actually taking home a win. And the cool thing too is the prizing is split throughout the different divisions. So even if you're in the third division, you can still win the same prize as someone in the first division. Plus, it can kind of just be fun to work your way up the divisions. My favorite tournaments to play on here are the last Spartan standing tournaments for Halo Infinite because they kind of work like a scoring system similar to a Battle Royale tournament, which is kind of a fun change of pace. Anyways, make sure you check out Z League with the link in the description below. And with that, let's hop back into the video. Unfortunately, with the current player base, your best bet to find matches is to play the preset for 12 player mode. This is definitely the most luck that I've had finding matches matches. So this is what I would recommend also picking unless you have like a full group of people to queue a different game mode. As you can see, we found a game mode pretty much right away. So let's hop right in. All right, here we go. So we got into a cargo game. Cargo is a pretty fun game mode. Basically, you try and go steal cargo from their base. And you bring it to your base, kind of like capture the flag, if we're being honest. First thing that's kind of crazy when I got into Battlefront the other day to start kind of, you know, prepping for this video is how nice it actually looks for a game from 2015. This game actually holds up super well. I would be lying if I told you guys I'm good at this game. Uh, if you tuned into the stream last night, you'll know I was kind of improving as we played. You definitely run into some people who have been playing this for probably since it came out, which can be pretty rough, but we were definitely getting better. But obviously, you know, our experience is nowhere near the level of some of the people that are still playing. Another thing that kind of holds us back a little bit is that we just don't have all the cards. You do unlock cards as you level up that allow you to get different perks and different abilities. One of the most common ones you'll see is the jetpack. Unfortunately, I'm not high enough level on PC to be able to use the jetpack. So that definitely puts me kind of at a deterrent. And you'll also see a lot of people use, it's the cycler rifle, I believe, which is like a sniper rifle. 
But there's a whole different variety of perks that you can pick and you can kind of set up your own class and it's pretty fun. There's also a ton of different blasters in this game that you can pick from that do a variety of different things. There's longer range ones, there's closer range ones, there's burst fire ones. One thing that is kind of cool is this is a partner spawn type game. So you can spawn on your, oh my God, I just straight up died to the droid. You do get assigned a partner and you can spawn on your partner, which is really cool. It gives it kind of like, you know, a nice team play aesthetic, especially if you're playing with someone you know. But you can actually also use their loadout with their perks and their cards to kind of try them out maybe if they have a good setup or, you know, if they're a bit higher level and you want to try out some of the higher level stuff, it lets you, which is really cool. I like that. I've been having a ton of fun back on this game. It's actually crazy. Like, not only can you still find lobbies, albeit for mostly just the 12 player mode, unless you kind of get a lobby together, it's a lot of fun. Oh, we lost. One thing you will notice with the player base being a bit lower, and to be honest, I don't know, even when this game was at its prime, what the skill-based matchmaking was like, you will find some very, very uneven matches. Usually there's a carry or two in, in the game that are clearly at a higher skill level than most of the people in the lobby, but you know, it's a little bit to be expected with a game that's been around this long. All right, we got my partner set up here. So he's using pretty much exactly what I talked about earlier is he has the cycler rifle and the jetpack, which is definitely a good setup. Oh, I did not even, I think I'm about to get shot in the back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they were like everywhere on me. One thing you really want to be doing in this game is just rolling all over the place. You will notice that helps a ton. Rolling and the jetpack are very, very strong. Oh, look at that snipe. All right, let me show you guys the power of the jetpack. Cause that shit's so much fun. Oh shit. Oh, dude, this fight's so awkward. Yes! Peek back out, peek back out, come on. A shot. Oh, 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 dude, he's just flying. Oh, there we go, got him. Yo, let's go. Alright, here we go, here we go. Woo! When your blaster overheats, you can do like an active reload, kind of like a Gears of War game would have. And that'll get you right back into the fight like way faster. One thing that's kind of awkward is obviously we're playing in third person and I'll show you guys the first person because honestly I prefer playing in first person but you're definitely putting yourself at a disadvantage to do it. But sometimes when you're in third person your crosshair you think you have a clean shot and you actually don't. It's actually like kind of blocked or something so you'll shoot and you'll hit a wall. From what I can gather the EE3 and the E11 are probably the most common blasters you're gonna see. The E11 is the one I'm using and then the EE3 if as long as I'm not mixing up the names is the burst fire one and I don't have that one unlocked yet but I see a lot of people using it so I imagine it must be pretty good. One thing that is a little bit weird to me is you can't actually pick up guns from like dead people so you don't get, you can't try out stuff that you don't have unlocked yet. We'll hop into first person here for a little bit. Like I said, it puts you at a clear disadvantage, but honestly it just looks so good. It's kind of fun. So if you're playing like the single player stuff or the co-op stuff instead of multiplayer, honestly I fuck with the I fuck with the uh I fuck with the first person in that for sure. Less so in the multiplayer just because you are putting yourself at a disadvantage, but it does just look really nice. One thing that's kind of funny is since this game does have a smaller community and it doesn't have crossplay, at least as far as I'm aware, is you will actually notice a lot of the same names and you'll also notice a lot of the people in the lobbies know each other, which is kind of a cool dynamic. Oh my God. Yo, what the fuck? Yo. I killed the top player. Let's go. All right. We hopped into another game here. This time we're going to use the shotgun. We also switched to the pulse rifle. We're going to see if we can figure out how to use this thing properly. For some reason, mine just never kills. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Oh, yep. I figured out what I'm doing wrong. I wasn't holding the button. <laughs> well, that'll do it. If we can get a free kill here. There we go. Yeah. The pulse cannon is definitely worth using. Look at that shotgun range. Oh, there we go. Just being able to spam the rolls while having the shotgun is so strong. I love it. Also, unfortunately, like I mentioned, how you can only really find the 12 player matches. I haven't got to use vehicles too much, which is kind of a bummer or play the DLC, which I also believe is supposed to be pretty fun. This guy doesn't push me. I'll just regen. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes. Easy, easy. Ah, damn. Oh, here we go. This is an easy kill. Oh, he moved. Oh, did I hit him? Nice. I got him right at the end for, for the draw. 
Oh, that's so ridiculous. God, that's so strong. I, th I just think the shotgun is so unbalanced. One thing that's actually really fun about Battlefront is it is one of those kind of like more old school games, you could say, where like a ton of stuff is unbalanced instead of like this mega balanced game. It's just like a lot of unbalanced things that you can use and that's actually like a lot of fun. But at the same time, the shotgun is kind of ridiculous. Oh, I like the fire rate on that. It's a little bit quicker. What are, what are we all shooting? I think we're all shooting at each other. Oh, oh, we got one. Oh, and then I rolled into my death. I do think I like aim in too much in this game, probably. I think you need to stay a little bit more mobile and nimble. I get caught up going for a kill I think I can get a little too often. That's not what I want that nade to do. Oh my god, see, that guy just melts you, man. And that, guys, is going to do it for Can You Still Play Star Wars Battlefront 2015. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments below what game you'd like to see next in this series, or maybe you just want to see Battlefront 2. Other than that, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all the good places, and I'll see you all next time.